Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Speak Up for Blue TV, where you get the good, the bad, and the ugly of ocean news happening around the world today, and you get my take on it. And who am I, you ask? I'm Andrew Lewin, founder of SpeakUpForBlue.com, a website dedicated to supporting the ocean conservation movement through education, awareness, and action. Welcome to the Thursday show. We have a special show today uh, because we're going to introduce to you a new species of shark. Now, if you don't know much about sharks, check out Tuesday's episode of Test Your Knowledge where we go through five questions about sharks, general questions that I think you should know about cool features and just basic knowledge of sharks. Um, a lot of people liked it, so I hope you like it as well. There's a link just above here and you can click on it and go back at any time and then come back and look at this uh, video for this special new shark. Now, this new shark species was discovered during deep dives uh, off the coast of the Galapagos Islands. And the shark is actually a part of the shark, cat shark family, which is also known as the dogfish family. And it's about, about a 1.3 feet long or so. Uh, and it's about the size of a house cat, I guess. And its, it's suggested name is the Galapagos cat shark. Pretty simple. Or the Latin name, and you know, please have patience with my pronunciation of Latin. I don't know that Latin that well, but it's by Thalurus Gedinsky. You know, Gidding, Gidingzi, Gidingzi, yeah, by Thalaris Gidingzi, I think, I don't know, you can look it up, it's in the link, it's in the description below, I'm not very good at Latin, like I said, anyway, the new species would identify from a series of seven species during two submersible dives back in 1995 and 1998, and the Galapagos cat shark, what it looks like, here's a picture of it, it's about chocolate brown, I guess, and they have you know, pale leopard-like spots all over their body, and they're kind of unique. Each animal has a unique pattern, and they're not symmetrical, so you're not going to find the same um, spot on one side and, and, and have the same one on the other. So, you know, they're, they're not symmetrical. They're, I guess, asymmetrical. Um, you know, leopard-like spots, light brown with, with pale leopard-like spots. So it's kind of cool. This species was discovered, especially when it's discovered in the Galapagos, because the Galapagos, you know, it's, I mean, it's the birthplace of evolution. It's where Charles Darwin came up with it, or start, it was inspired to come up with these, the, the theory of evolution. Whether you agree with it or not, that's where he came up with the theory of evolution. You know, and it's it's home to many endemic species, probably some of the most uh, endemic. I think I don't know if it's the most endemic species in the world, but it's quite a bit uh, in these series of islands. And it's you know it's kind of cool because sharks are pretty vulnerable in the Galapagos. Um, you know, as a level of protection, kind of flip flops back and forth. Um, from being protected to not being protected, you know, and it's based on the level of pressure that fishermen put on the government, you know, for things like, like recently, like shark fin soup and stuff. And if you want more information, um, you know, I suggest you go uh, to watch Shark Water because that's where it really, you know, they really start going after this issue. And, they, and Galapagos was one of the, the main key areas of where people go. So, um, you know, discovering this species could be really important because, the level of protection of the, for that species can change. You know, we don't know if this species is 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 endangered already. We don't know if people have been catching this species. You know, I highly doubt if people have been catching it because it's it's in the like I said, it's it was during it was found during deep dives. Um, it's it's kind of small. It's only like one, not even one and a half feet long. So maybe it hasn't been hasn't had a lot of fishing pressure against it. But you never know. Pollution could could drive it down to low stocks or anything else. So we may not know just on how many individuals of this species are, or there could be another population somewhere else in the world. We don't know. There could be many fit of these fish around the world, but the level of protection will really dictate on how, well, the number of, sorry, of individuals will really dictate on the level of protection it will get. If there's, if we don't find a lot, like if we only find like, you know, 20 to 100 species, you know, then it may also already be considered threatened and that we have to be careful and not to over-exploit these kind of species. So, you know, this this could be important, knowing existence, knowing the existence of this species, because it can give us more reasons to protect sharks. But then again, it may give us reasons not to protect sharks, because people may just think, oh, you discovered that there are more sharks out there, so technically shark populations aren't going down, they're actually going up, because you found a new species of shark. You know, so it's kind of complicated on the way people think about these issues. I don't really know. When I think when I think about discovering a new species, I think it's fantastic. I think it's one of the you know one of the things. I mean, 
This is from the cat shark family, which is one of the largest families in the in in the shark sort of you know area in the sharks in the shark family. You know, cat sharks are you know are one of the most numerous ones. So it's really important that we we protect these species. You know, because it's new, we don't want to lose it as we discover it. I think that's that'd be ridiculous. And I think we should protect it if there's a low numbers of it, especially now when we've only seen about seven to ten, maybe more. I don't know, but. I think they should be protected. But that leads me to the question of the day, what you think about it, because I really want to know what you think. You know, do you think discovering new shark species, new shark species is actually a good thing for shark protection, or is it just the opposite? You know, if people say, well, you discovered a new population, who cares? That's great. We won't protect it because there's more populations we've discovered, and we probably don't even know how many sharks are out there, which is true. We don't know how many sharks are out there. So I want to know what you think. It's very important to me. And I think to ocean conservation in general, to write down things in the comments below, um, because discussion needs to happen on these things. And we, you know, scientists and, and ocean conservationists really need to know what the public thinks, and the public should know what each other think. And and you know, debating is great. Healthy debating is, is fantastic. So, you know, start start the discussion on this website in the YouTube comments, wherever you want. There's links to the story on Wired.com where I first found this story. Uh, of course, I'll have pictures on our website about this, uh, of this new shark species, and you've seen it in this video today. And of course, as usual, please share as much as possible. Share, share, share to your family, your friends, your network, social networks. Um, it's really important that we get you know more awareness and, and everything about this. And to watch more videos, you can click on the link above to watch past videos. You can click on uh, the link above to subscribe. Uh, to, to our show so you always get the new shows uh, in your email box or in your in, in your email inbox or on your YouTube site and of course click the annotation below to see whatever we've done in the past and get yourself aware get yourself educated on the ocean um, I'm trying to make it as entertaining as possible let me know how I'm doing it's very important to me to know how I'm doing so until the next time I'm actually going to release one more I think I'm going to release another video uh, this week on Saturday so you guys have something for the weekend. Let me know what you think. Until Saturday, my name is Andrew Lewin, founder of SpeakUpForBlue.com. Happy conservation.